point today. Okay. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Thanks to the organizers for uh, organizing this very nice conference and for giving me the opportunity to uh, talk to you today on uh, spontaneous emergence of milling <clears throat> in a Witzek like model. <laughs> Maybe. Does it switch or not? Okay, it's good. The videos are also not really working. That's good. Okay, milling is a quite fascinating pattern uh, of collective motion. It's a collective circular motion around the common center, which has been often observed in fish schools, but also in other animal species, like, for example, ants. So there are many theoretical models of collective motion which show milling, and most of these include avoidance, alignment, and attraction between individuals, among individuals. Though the mechanisms which are underlying milling formation are still unclear, are avoidance, alignment, and attraction all necessary? Can simpler models generate patterns like milling? Well, the answer to this last question is yes. There is, for example, a model by Strombom of 2011, which has only attraction, which does show milling, for example. Though, how important is the alignment interaction? Is milling with only alignment possible? There is uh, the Witzek model, which has been mentioned already a few times today also, um, which is a model with only alignment and does not show any milling. Or actually, it does show some milling if you confine particles in uh, a circular geometry and if you add also some excluded volume interactions between the particles. So I'm here interested in the minimal modifications which we have to do on the Witzet model in order to obtain milling without any walls, so in bulk. So as, you, as most of you indeed already know, the Witzek model is a, a two-dimensional model of point particles which are characterized by position and orientation, which have all the same constant speed. There is only alignment, no avoidance, no attraction, and the, average, at the, at the, um, at the particles align to the average orientation of, neighbor, of neighbors, including themselves, in a certain interaction range, which can be choos, uh, chosen as a uh, unit of length. So for example, that yellow particle there will interact with the neighboring particles and at the next time step go directly to the average orientation of the neighbors. On top of that, there is a random noise and indeed the phase transition from disorder to order, but as said, no milling. So how can we get milling from, uh, from the Witzek model somehow? What can we modify. Let's consider an idealized case, indeed, of four particles on a circle of radius r without any noise, which move at, con at constant speed b and with a certain angular velocity. So the first thing that we may not can, can say is that we actually need a limitation on the field of view. Why that? Because if the field of view is complete, as in the original Witzek model, then that particle there will interact with the particle in front and with the particle in the back. And this orientation cancel each other out. And therefore, this particle will then simply continue to move straight. But now, if we introduce a limitation on the field of view with a blind angle in the back, then this particle here will interact only with this particle here, for example, and not anymore with the particle in the back and therefore will tend to rotate counterclockwise in this case. On top of that, we note that the condition, that, that condition uh, has to be satisfied, which is actually just the definition of any circular motion, right? Which means, <clears throat> so the speed has to be not too high, not too, not too large compared to the angular velocity, a bit like a satellite around the Earth. If it's too fast, then it simply flies away, and if it's too slow, it crashes into the Earth. On top of that, we notice that the interaction range is here, in this case, 
the radius times square root of 2. The radius is therefore smaller uh, than the interaction range divided by square root of 2. And that means that the, the, the radius is of the order of magnitude of the interaction range, which will be what we, uh, which, is, which is what we will observe in, in, the, uh, in the milling, which, uh, which I will show you. So therefore, we modify the Witzek model, introducing, indeed, a limitation on the field of view with a blind, blind angle in the back, and a limited maximal angular velocity, which means that a particle cannot anymore instantaneously, let's say, go to the average orientation of the neighbors, but can only rotate towards it by, indeed, a maximal angular velocity. Implementing this, and uh, indeed starting from a random starting configuration in a quadratic box with periodic boundary conditions, we see that, uh, indeed, milling spontaneously emerged. And actually, here we have also multiple mills and counter-rotating mills. So actually, <clears throat> varying a bit the few parameters of the model, we not only uh, obtain mills, but also other patterns of collective motion, like flocks, lines, bands, fronts. Therefore, we need a way to identify and measure, quantify and measure, uh, indeed, uh, milling. We can use the average velocity, so the polar order parameter, which is 1 when particles are ordered and 0 when particles are disordered. And we can use the average absolute value of the normalized angular momentum, which is 1 when particles are milling, though, <clears throat> okay, where RCM is the distance of particle I from the center of mass of the group it is belonging to, and where a group is a set of particles where the distance between particles is smaller than half of the interaction range. And this works well for uh, identifying also multiple and counter-rotating mills, indeed. But uh, indeed, the <clears throat> angular momentum alone is not sufficient to identify milling because there are cases like, for example, the case of the band pattern, where this quantity is actually high. And therefore, it turns out that uh, a good condition for identifying milling as, is that the average velocity has to be lower than a certain threshold, as well as the um, average momentum has to be higher than a certain threshold. So performing uh, 100 simulations of 2,000 time steps in the quadratic box of size 20 in units of interaction range with periodic boundary conditions, as we have already seen, with random starting configurations, we can measure time averages of the average velocity and average momentum in the last 500 steps where the system is already in the steady state. For each of the runs, we get either milling state or not, and then we can compute a milling proportion, so just the number of uh, runs where we have milling divided by the total number of runs. So the three parameters of the model are indeed the ratio of speed to maximal angular velocity, the field of view, the noise, and the particle density. Running the simulations, indeed, we, uh, we see where, indeed, we, we can get some milling. We, uh, as we have seen, milling, indeed, emerges. We have seen it in the video. And here we see a bit more in detail where. So we need some intermediate field of views, so about 200 degrees. And the ratio of speed to angular velocity has to be around 1, which was, indeed, also uh, what, what, we, what we expected. A bit more in detail here, we can see the dependence on, uh, on the ratio of speed to angular velocity in uh, empty circles and the dependence on the field of view in full circles. Varying also the particle density and the noise, we get a bigger picture and uh, from which we can conclude that indeed we, we need not too high noise, obviously, we can say, and also the density has to be high enough in order to get milling. Again, a bit more in detail, we see here the milling proportion as a function of noise and as a function of particle density. And indeed, we see the milling to no milling transition by either increasing noise or decreasing density, which is a bit similar to the, uh, which reminds at least to the uh, order disorder transition 
in the Witzek model by increasing noise or decreasing density indeed. So as said, we do not observe only milling, but also uh, flocks, lines, bands, and fronts. We studied a bit where they happen, for which values of the different parameters. And for example, we see that these lines happen at low noise and low field of view, increasing the noise. We uh, have first fronts here emerging, and then bands here emerging. Milling is already almost disappeared. <coughs> and um, increasing the noise further, of course, at certain points, the disordered state will invade the entire phase space. So let's consider now <coughs> two types of particles. So one type is, in this case, too slow in order to get milling. So it is, uh, indeed, flocking. And one other type, which has the right set of uh, parameters values in order to get milling. Let's jump in the background. What happens if we put them together in the same box? Will they mill all together? Will, they, will nobody mill? Will they segregate? So running <coughs> a simulation in this particular case, we see that actually the, the milling particles are still milling here. And you see that they have kind of trapped the non-milling particle, the, the non particles inside their mills. And they have kind of induced this rotational motion also to the non-milling particles. So actually, varying the speed of the non-milling particles, we can get not only the case, as we have already just seen, of uh, milling induction with the non-milling particles inside the mill, but uh, we can also get milling induction with the non-milling particles outside the, outside the mill if the speed of the non-milling particles is higher than the speed of the uh, milling particles. And actually, not only milling induction, but we can get also milling destruction if the speed of the non-milling particles is too slow or too high. In that case, they simply destroy, uh, indeed, the, uh, the milling of the, of the milling particles because they are either too, too slow and they... Um, are kind of obstacles to this. They cannot really follow the rotational motion, or they are too fast and they wash away the rotational motion. Yeah, actually, that's what is. Uh, it was already <coughs> this. So we, we have seen that this modified Witzak model does show milling for intermediate field of use, and when this ratio between speed and angular velocity is about one, for low noise and for high enough density. And this is indeed a case of uh, milling using only alignment, which, um, which, has, which is the first model studying this. We also have seen the existence of milling induction and milling destruction effect. And all these are important insights for the understand, understanding of milling formation maybe also in real animal schools. Thank you.